Vermont Cable Yarder has been built here in Vermont to demonstrate the possibilities of logging with a new technology, not new in the world, but new to Vermont. This project is sponsored by the Vermont Department of Forest Parks and Recreation through a grant from the U.S. Forest Service, and the money comes from the U.S. Department of Energy. We're going to try to show here today how we plan to move wood from steep slopes, rough terrain, in an environmentally sound manner, a safer manner, a more efficient manner, to help produce firewood, logs, and all the wood products that we need to use in our daily lives. My mother's side of the family's been here since, well, I guess the 17, 1800s, farmers and loggers. I grew up working on the farm, the sawmill. I've always been interested in forestry and environment. My uncle and grandfather were organic farmers. So um, I was naturally interested in forestry school and went to the University of Maine. And I had a chance to work some good jobs in other places, but I wanted to come back to Vermont. So after a two-year stint in the Peace Corps, I came back, set up a consulting forestry firm in Vermont, and ended up you know, working with doing management plans for woodlot owners and make, you know, giving advice, but finding there was really no way I could implement the type of forest management I wanted. It was fairly intensive forest management with a minimal amount of disturbance. The normal pattern had been pretty much to harvest the best trees and leave the poor quality trees behind with very little regard for what damage was done to the woods or you know what the future harvest would be and I just really couldn't recommend that approach to most of the most of the landowners I was working with also we had some severe problems with erosion on bog skidding trails and crossing streams and working in wet areas so I I you know I decided I I couldn't find any solutions, so I started working on some very simple gravity cable logging systems, just using what little money I could scrape up and some old cables. Experimented experimented with those, and we had some very lively experiences with wood going 60 miles an hour down a hill uncontrolled and crashing into the bottom. But, but we've proved to the point that we could move wood out with a cable and and not cause a significant amount of damage. Then we advanced there. We, as my, my father <laughs> was helping me most of the time, and advanced to some, a very simple 16 horsepower version of the system we're now using, where you use one winch line to pull the carriage back into the woods, and a second winch line to pull the carriage in, and then the carriage is riding on a third static line, which holds, you know, which supports the load in the carriage. And this is starting to achieve some of the results I wanted in land management in that we can we can do far less damage to the soil and the root systems of the trees, far less stream disturbance, no roads to build, so there's no potential for erosion, you know, down with roads going down hillsides or anything like that. And we can do far less residual stand damage by being able to move our carriage back and forth. This is a diagram of the major components of the Vermont Standing Skyline System. The system is powered by a yarder, which in this case is a converted agricultural tractor, which is normally rigged and operated at roadside. The tractor is fitted with a fabricated steel tower. There are three cables running from the yarder out into the woods. The main cable is the skyline cable. This is a stationary half inch cable on which the skyline carriage rides back and forth. The carriage is trolleyed back along a corridor which is a cleared straight path through the woods.
The carriage rides on the skyline and is moved by the haul in and haul back lines, which form a complete loop out and around the end of the setup. To make the complete loop around, the haul back cable goes through the corner blocks or pulleys hung on trees at the back of the setup. On radioed commands from a logger in the woods, the yarder operator, using the winch clutches and brakes, can accurately drop the returning chokers to the ground for the logger to make the next hitch. After the hitch is completed, the logger in the woods radios the yarder operator who winches in on the cable, first hauling the logs skyward to the carriage where they lock together and are then trolleyed out of the woods. Once the logs reach the landing area, which is in view of the yarder, the carriage passes over a trip release on the skyline cable, releasing the lock which allows the yarder operator to lower and position the logs. When the load is lowered into place on the deck or pile, the operator quickly slackens his lines, allowing the choker chains to self-release their grip on the logs. These chains are then pulled back out of the deck without anyone touching them. The chains are then automatically carried back into the woods with the returning carriage for the next load. The Vermont cable yarder differs from traditional methods of wood harvesting. The skyline corridor, which is a cleared straight path through the trees, averages only about 10 feet wide. Corridors may be spaced 100 to 200 feet apart. Wood cut to 20 feet or log length in the forest can be winched in from the side of the corridor and lifted up to the carriage on the skyline with minimal soil disturbance and damage to residual trees. Fuel consumption is several times less than that of skitter logging because wood moves in a straight line from the woods to the roadside, is elevated above ground obstructions, and the yarder remains stationary at roadside, while only a light carriage moves back and forth to the woods. Maintenance is lower since the equipment is not pounding over rocks and stumps or turning through mud and snow. The skyline system is independent of ground conditions. Thus, it may be operated year-round on virtually any terrain without fear of rollover or traction problems. Of course, there are limits on slope steepness and snow depth for people working with the system. The Vermont Cable Yarder is a prototype machine which was assembled with a limited budget to demonstrate that cable systems have potential for improving logging practices in the management of our forests. Taking advantage of the latest technology, cable systems could be built which would be much more efficient and could be controlled more precisely, resulting in even less damage to the forest.